Problem solvers have also been following issues at the Virginia Employment Commission during the pandemic. People have been having a lot of trouble filing for unemployment or even getting their benefits. The state watchdog agency's blistering final report on the VEC shows despite some improvement, the agency badly needs better management and oversight. Our Brendan King explains and tells us how Governor-elect Glenn Youngkin says he'll deal with the troubled state agency on day one. Brendan? Well, the VEC tells us that they've paid out $14.5 billion to Virginians in need, but we know that the problems persist. And on today, I talked to the lead attorney suing the VEC right now. He tells me he tried to warn the agency of all of these problems in a letter last year. Definitely not over yet. For the last 16 years, Pat Levy Lavelle at the Legal Aid Justice Center has represented clients against the Virginia Employment Commission. We started hearing from claimants almost immediately as, as the pandemic was starting. And Tuesday, the attorney suing the VEC agrees with findings from JLARC, Virginia's watchdog agency. JLARC said that the agency needed more oversight and that critical decisions that made a difference in 2021 were things that were not implemented until after a year uh, following the beginning of the pandemic. And VEC's communications to customers and its own staff have caused significant frustration and confusion. But after 19 months of case backlogs and unanswered calls to the VEC, there is good news. The average wait time on the phone in June was 10 hours. Average wait times improved as well, dropping to under 20 minutes in October 2021. Governor-elect Glenn Youngkin used the troubles at the VEC as a talking point on the campaign trail. On day one, we're going to launch a statewide audit of every government department for fraud, for waste, for transparency. Calling the problems a mess. And guess where we got our eyes first? The big two starting points are the Virginia Employment Commission and the DMV. Virginia's Secretary of Labor, Dr. Megan Healy, told me in a statement that the VEC successfully paid out 10 years worth of claims over the past 20 months, calling it a remarkable achievement for an agency that has long been under-resourced. She said adjudications are now back to pre-pandemic wait times and their new IT system will go live next week, which will help with the backlog of appeals. More could have been done earlier. And the watchdog says that the VEC also answered only 4% of their calls at the call center over the summer. That number has been improving to 12% to read the statements from both Dr. Healy and a VEC spokesperson. I just posted them on our website, WTVR.com.